Hey folks, it's Brad Sump here. Uh, welcome to Business Live, and uh, it's great to see. We've got a small, quaint group tonight, but that's that's awesome. Each week's been a, a little bit different. Uh, looks like I'm jumpy and uh, a little bit hung up on the um, on the video side. But anyways, let let me know if it if it's slow. Uh, Becky and Donna, Dave, Ron, uh, Roger. Uh, Jimmy, Billy, Susie, great to see all of you. Uh, weekly business live event, business TV. And this is your opportunity to uh, interact with me live and, and up front here. Boy, it looks like that camera is uh, is really, really sh slow. Yeah, it hasn't been jumpy like this. Let me uh, let me do something here. Let me close let me close out of a few things. Make sure that um, Make sure that everything is closed down for us, and then we'll we'll jump into it. We're going to tweak the format a little bit here. Um, Becky, uh, strategic planning using systems thinking with clients. Okay, yep, uh, critical thinking as well as systems thinking. All right, cool. We'll see. We'll uh, we we can get into that as well. So the format here, uh, the last few weeks, right? We've been going through our entrepreneur cash map. And that entrepreneur strategy cash map. Let me uh, let me pull that up for you and show. Uh, actually, before I do that, I want to uh, give everyone an orientation here of the room. Okay, so the first thing is in the the, the room itself at the very top. There's a little hand uh, that I like to cover every week. Right at the top, there's a thing. If you hover over it, it says raise hand. And uh, if there's anything that you need. Uh, welcome, John. Thanks for joining us. Uh, you know, go ahead and push that. In, in right now, why don't you give me? Uh, why don't you give me a uh, you know a raise hand or something there? There you go, Becky. Awesome. And then I can I can uh, drop those down. But anyways, that right there. If you have something, you can go ahead and raise your hand, or you can just go ahead and drop it right into uh, the chat window. We'll be monitoring those. And uh, so. Here's the deal. If you've got normally, normally here, uh, with this the little bit of jumpy issue we've got going on with the cam doesn't happen. So normally, I, what we're going to do here is uh, we're going to op open this up and uh, you know allow you to uh, you have some video. Dave, do you got uh, your video on? Let me know if you do or not, and we'll we'll test it here. And yeah, John, I'm I'm sorry, man. Um, this. Uh, we haven't had we haven't had this issue with uh, with video at all. So let me uh, just make sure that we're out of everything here. And hold on one second. Let's see if we can just make sure that. Let me try to stop on the webcam and restart it again. Hold on. All right, folks. So we'll see. It looks like it's still going to be jumping. We haven't had this issue. Sorry, technical issues. It is what it is. Um, sorry, John. But anyways, that little raise your hand guy. Use that, okay? Uh, we're going to do some some interactive stuff today, and uh, I'd really like to turn some of your cams on and let you guys uh, ask questions and that sort of thing. But we'll have to test one and, and see if it works with the connection that we've got right now. It doesn't uh, look like it's doing very well. Maybe on my end. Uh, we've got some, we've got some uh, uh, fiber optic cable that went through, you know, laid, and uh, it's been pretty good. But every once in a while, we get these, we get these issues down here in uh, Central Florida area. So here's the deal. Let's dive, let's dive right into this. Uh, I want to start with a poll here, and uh, let me let me pull this up, and uh, let me see if we can pull up this one. I want to talk about busyness for a minute here. So. Go ahead and um, you should see a poll come up on your screen here. So there's there's five there's five causes of busyness, okay, in, in people's lives. With people, mindset, stuff at home, stuff at work, and technology. All right. And I'm just curious to know what uh, what everyone here says. And uh, you know, as far as the causes of, of busyness. Now, 
uh, you know, that's an open question, and I'm, I want to leave it open to you, just subjective of what you interpret busyness to be. Uh, okay, so far it's uh, it's strong, strong technology. So, and I, and that's normally that's normally normally the case. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna pick another poll um, later, and um, you know I'll, I'll ask you more about the technology piece. That's what I that's what I expected. Um, so one of the things. And it's going to be a little bit difficult for me to do this because, again, I wanted to interact with you a little bit more here. We'll just go over this briefly before I jump into jump into uh, business plan writing. So we're going to tonight we're going to we're going to jump into the business plan writing strategy cash map and, and cover the steps on there. If you don't have a, a, an account at cashmap.com, uh, you definitely definitely want to uh, to go grab that. And create your free account. You get two full cash map packages for free, plus access to 60, 60. Uh, it actually might be 59, 59 or 60 strategy cash maps, just like this, in PDF format, absolutely for free. So create that free cash map account now. Uh, you're gonna, if you haven't already, you're gonna want to go download, you know, the, this the strategy cash map, uh, you know, either now or, or, or later on. Uh, Ron, if you've got a direct link uh, for that, go ahead and drop that in there that'd be you know that, that'd be great um, and go ahead and get rid of that get rid of that poll there there's a direct link so you can go ahead and, and download that pull down that that strategy cash map there so you have it uh, in front of you we're going to get into that in just a few minutes but so let's talk about let's talk about uh, you know working at home for a minute in the in the causes of, of busyness you know if you would it, who, who, go ahead and give me a show of hands. Give me a raise of your hand if you work out of your home. And uh, I'll participate in that as well. Um, actually, my hand's already up. Okay, good. So just about everyone here um, it works out of their home. And, um, you know, so for me, and we can get in the, in the discussion here, but for me, it took me uh, literally, I've been, I've been working, I left the automotive industry uh, three years ago, three years ago this April. Now I walked away from uh, you know corporate America, and uh, at the time I had uh, four children. So four children at that time, and they're all young, you know, four under the age of seven. And one of the things I did have an office at home, but one of the things for me working out of the home is managing you know the the family and the, and the young children. I'm not sure anybody you know on the call tonight has has kids, but absolutely something that needs to be. Uh, considered. So when we were in Michigan, what I did is I actually rented an office. Uh, you know, 250 bucks a month, uh, just a small, you know, 12 by 12 office for myself. It was only a mile away from my house to get out of the home and, um, you know, it, it, and just get out. So I didn't have to deal, and I could actually take that environmental, those environmental issues at home. Uh, you know, causes of busyness at home, which would be the family and the rest of the uh, activity in the household, and and just cut those right out you know of the environment get get rid of those and um, so that that was probably my biggest thing but it was interesting and if any of you have children just something to uh, to think about is uh, it, it's really interesting now all of our children all four in fact the, the funny thing this morning my uh, wife was carrying around Peyton our four month old daughter and uh, brought her in the office and then when she walked out she shut the door and turned around and was saying okay Peyton we're gonna train you young this is what happens when dad's working in the office. You need to come around the corner. You need to come to the window. And you need to wave. You need to uh, wave. And if, if dad acknowledges you to come in, then you go ahead and come in. And if he doesn't, you know, you don't. And so it's funny because my four older children will do exactly that. And it took, you know, six to eight months uh, to get them to that point. But they'll literally come to the window. They'll look at me, make eye contact, and I'll either wave them in, I'll either wave them in or, you know, say, sorry, I can't. Or point to the phone I'm on, or something like that, and they'll just walk away. So it's absolutely awesome. It takes a little bit of uh, training, and uh, yeah. So Dave, there you go. Uh, yeah, you have to pretend I'm not here. Yeah, exactly, exactly. So I don't know. You know, before I move on here, is there any other issues that uh, for those of you, and it was just about everyone here that works out of the home, uh, that you'd like to throw out there to, to discuss? Maybe I've got some ideas. Um, Maybe somebody else here on the call has some ideas, or you know, on the event. But you know, if you do, you go ahead and actually, I've got my hand left up here. I'm going to lower my hand. 
uh, you know, just go ahead and type them in there and we can, uh, you know, we can talk about it. They just give you a few seconds or so. If not, you know, no, no problem. We will, we'll move on uh, to the next, the next portion. But, uh, you know, just wanted to throw that out there and, uh, and, and ask you anything else. Okay. Kind of quiet, uh, kind of quiet tonight. So I saw, I see Roger Pippen uh, left and Roger, your back is Roger too. Thanks for coming back, man. Sorry about the jumpy uh, video. This this is not. This has been a solid technology that we've been using. This is the first video issues that we're having. I'm guessing it's probably on my side, and um, you know, not on the not on the uh, technology side or on your side. So, uh, my bad if if that's the case. I, I apologize for that. Um, okay. So, how do you avoid frustration with your spouse who sees you there and starts delegating? Yeah, I know it's. Um, you know, the, the, the invisible piece you mentioned, Dave, about oftentimes you have to say, you know, to pretend you're not there. Um, boy, that it's, I think it's harder f for the spouse, you know, than it is for, uh, for the children to do that because especially with five children running around, it gets pretty hectic around here, you know, and, uh, and Lee, <laughs> Lee, it's, it's, uh, she's, she's awesome. I couldn't do this without her, but you know, I, I have opportunities to go out there and help her, but I know there's times when the, when I hear the kids just, you know, all over, and and uh, I'm sure she would like to say, you know, Brad, get out here and help me with so and so, or one of these children, or take that, or, you know. So, anyways, interesting working uh, working out of the home. So, anyways, if you have anything else on that, you know, the uh, the issues issues of the at at home, in this case, at work at home, uh, you know, throw them in here t tonight. You know, we can definitely definitely talk about them some more. Uh, but here, here's what I want to do. I want to jump into the cash map portion of, of this now. And uh, for those of you that haven't been on the previous, uh, you know, Business TV, Business Live, sorry, Business TV, all right, is the weekly show on Thursdays that you can find at business.com. If you haven't watched any of those episodes, make sure that you do. Episode five is out right now. Episode six will be out tomorrow. And uh, make sure that you register for show updates. Uh, by visiting business.com and, and registering there or uh, going to iTunes. And you can go to iTunes and get that link right off of the business.com site and you can podcast uh, directly in on a weekly basis. So uh, definitely do that. That's business TV, uh, the business TV show. That's every Thursday. Business live that we're on right now is every Wednesday night, just to give you a, a distinction there. Now I'm going to go ahead and open up uh, the entrepreneur strategy cash map. So interesting. Um, Happened really, it popped up really, really fast here. So um, don't know what the, the hookup, something on just the video side and bandwidth wise. Um, so here we go. This was the Entrepreneur Strategy Cash Map. And this is a package, right, that it has a strategy cash map and it has a, a set of steps that tie to full cash map packages, right? So. In week one of Business Live, we talked about boosting your productivity. Week two, we covered solidifying your finances, putting in place that solid foundation, right? Putting in place that solid foundation before you really dive in to your entrepreneurial business. And then we asked the question, you know, do you have a defined business direction? And, you know, if the answer is no, you're going to follow your way up this little arrow right here, up this flow arrow, into defining your hedgehog concept. All right. And what we talked about, if, we're, if, you're, if you're around for weeks three or weeks four, uh, we covered a small business startup package right here. We talked about our small business startup, how to get started a couple weeks ago. And last week we talked about building uh, your freelance career. So building your freelance career cash map. And if we look back at the, the entire you know, entrepreneur strategy cash map here, uh, you know, do you have a defined business direction? If no, you're going to define that hedgehog concept, figure out what your business direction is, and then come down into the, you know, do you need financing for your business? And, you know, <clears throat> this is interesting because if, yeah, well, the way we have this built is if yes, then come over here and create a business plan to, you know, go get uh, funding from somewhere. It doesn't necessarily have to be venture capitalists. Um, you know, there's other ways to get funding as well, uh, even as simple as, you know, maybe a family member or something like that. Lots of uh, other negatives by loan, you know, taking loans from your family members. But anyways, um, so that's where we're at tonight. We want to talk about this uh, business plan writing. 
uh, right here. And uh, you know, what's so the steps to creating a professional business plan? Now, what's a little bit misleading about the entrepreneur strategy cash map here is that you know it says do you need if you need financing, that's the only time that you want to write a business plan. You know, if you're if you're going after funding, <coughs> excuse me, if you're going after funding, you absolutely must have uh, you know the business plan developed. But in all reality, you will benefit by having a business plan, uh, you know, regardless of whether you know you're going after funding or not. So even if you're not going after funding and you're bootstrapping your business, having a business plan is going to uh, provide some really distinct advantages for you as a business owner. And we're going to talk about those uh, in, in just a few minutes. So this is where we're at tonight. The next few weeks we'll be uh, you know doing some more interactive and, and busyness live and really getting people. Uh, going here, we're going to follow up later with a Q&A session. So if you have any questions about your business, hold on to those, write them down, file them away in your memory banks because we're going to open up the floor here in just a little bit for you to ask any questions that you'd like, you know, about, about your business, about marketing, you know, whatever it may be. So um, Mr. Roger has raised his hand. Um, R Roger, if you uh, need something there, just drop it into the chat or um, if you have a cam, too. Tell me that, and I can. Uh, I'll, uh, I'll go ahead and enable your your audio video. And uh, by the way, let's let's check this, Dave. Do you got your your audio on? Let me enable your audio real quick and see if you can. You go ahead and um, at the very top there, next to the hand raised dude, uh, try to talk. Say hi to everybody. Maybe I caught Mr. Maybe I caught Dave off off guard there. Okay, uh, let me see. Go ahead, try that again, Dave. Anybody else hearing him? No, okay. All right, bummer. All right. Hold on a sec, can you hear me? Now, yep. All right. How you doing, Mr. Dave? I'm doing good. Looks like so you're kind of doing the, the robot there with the video move. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry about the uh, sorry about the, the, the slow, but yeah, that's uh, exa exactly. We're getting a little, little bit of echo and stuff there, so. Um, Dave, go ahead and say hi to everybody. Hey everybody, how you doing? What what, what, is, what it is it that you do, Dave? What's your website? Well, my website is davevans.com, and I just changed things up a little bit. I talk about things regarding marketing as well as topics that I think are awesome that people should know. And what I do is I look for people who are interested in sponsoring me. And in return, instead of giving you just a logo on something, I turn around and actually partner with you on your marketing. And so whether it's you need someone to consult with or whether you need someone to execute the strategies and put some points up on the board, um, I'm your guy. Can you still hear me? Sweet, Sweet Dave. Dave. Let's, Let's see, see if, if I can uh, disable you there. There we go. All right. So it's not it's not super super uh, efficient there with the the feedback. So <laughs> sorry about that. But yeah, Dave. So welcome, man. Thanks for uh, thanks for sharing that. So hey, if anybody else has a uh, you know microphone uh, and is interested in, in giving a shout out for uh, you know what you do and in, in your business and it helps us to collaborate here and. And you know, a network, and uh, it's funny. There's a there's a business. There's a uh, I'm sorry, a blog post that uh, is going to be coming out, and it's the, the my number one number one secret uh, to success. And uh, you know, in the post, I basically say uh, most people that know me would guess systems, and I would say you're basically right. It's systems are you know one B and one A is 1A is personal networking and developing relationships with folks. 
you know, and that's why, who knows, you know, people on this, on this uh, event right here uh, interacting, whether, you know, it's working with me in the future or working with one another, uh, you know, the getting to know people around the world, around the globe, getting out from behind your, your home, you know, getting out, you know, outside the walls of your home, the comfort of your home, getting out to events and that sort of thing. That's when things, you know, really start to, uh, to take off. So a little sneak peek there on a, on a blog post that's, you know, that, that's coming out. So, um, but if you would, you know, again, if you are interested in uh, giving us a shout out sometime in the next uh, 35 minutes here of, uh, you know, what's going on, go ahead and just uh, give me a hand raise right now so I, I know I can take a roll call of who I need to get to uh, here before the, before the hour is up. Anybody else interested in uh, giving us a shout out of what your website um, or, okay, and it's not just today, by the way. Uh, these videos are getting, you know, hundreds and thousands of views uh, over time because we do distribute these. We do make these available to other people. So, uh, you know, it's a great opportunity for you uh, to market your business. So, anyways, all right, so that let's get back up from that little sidebar here. So here's where we're at, business plan writing. And let's just look ahead for a minute, okay? Let's look ahead and um, look at the next few weeks, right? Next week we're going to be talking about voice of the customer. This is a uh, this is something here that I know uh, Roger absolutely loves. Absolutely loves the voice of the customer here, uh, being involved with the automotive industry. Um, defining your business co competition here, you know, conquer your competition. That's going to be two weeks, uh, you know, from now. Uh, setting up an autoresponder. <coughs> Excuse me. This is where it gets really fun. Building a profitable email list. Setting up an autoresponder and you know in building doing some some list building here with our list building uh, cash map package. So those are the next like four weeks you know after after today. So yes, I do love you, love you, Roger. Thanks for being here, buddy. It's good to see you again. Been been too long. Um, so great, 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 great. All right, Becky, hold that question. Uh, that, I mean. Definitely ask the question. I appreciate you throwing it out there, but hold that. Let's get into it. Let me go through this, and then we'll see if um, you know if we can uh, dry, uh, answer that question as we go through it. So that's the entrepreneur strategy cash map. Now let's go back to uh, let's let's pull up the actual business plan writing uh, cash map here. So I'm going to pull this up and just bear with me for one second. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to go through the business plan writing strategy cash map. Then I want to talk to you a little bit about what when we did the poll to uh, you know start off this evening, and it was pretty much unanimous. That was about 90% that uh, folks that uh, said technology is the the area the, of the five causes of busyness. Technology was the the number one, right? And um, so we're going to dive back in and talk a little bit more about that and, and talk about the piece of technology that, that I feel um, you know, is, the, is the number one uh, heavy hitter uh, in cause of busyness. So stay tuned for that. Uh, but right now, let's jump into here. We're, then we're going to jump into that technology discussion. And so be thinking about that. What do you think is the number one technology piece or piece of technology that causes busyness? Okay. Um, so th let's think about that. But let's jump into this business plan writing cash map. Now, let me just remind you, uh, I'll get some of my handy dandy drawing tools out here. And let's go with a let's go with a let's go with an ellipse tonight. And uh, this might cover stuff up. Let's see. Ah yeah, it's going to. Bummer. I need a I need a clear thing. So that, that just means that I don't know how to use my drawing tools. We're going to get rid of that ellipse, that Hilux blue, and we're going to go with a pencil, and we're going to go with a, a throw a throw a throw a color throw a color uh, out there. Yeah, I, I am. I ac absolutely am. And Ron, is your microphone on, buddy? Um, throw a color out there. Give me a color. Give me a color. Somebody, first one. Give me a color. Come on, give me a color. Blue. All right, blue. Hilux blue for Roger. Here it comes, buddy. There it is. All right, so this is a, this right here. Oh man, horrible drawing. This right here is a um, the start node. 
Okay, the green green piece here, this is a start node for a cache map. This right here is the, an end node. Donna, thanks for throwing that out there, but uh, Roger beat you to it just by a, uh, a hair. And hey, Roger, by the way, for taking action and being the first one to, uh, to take action tonight, brother, I'm going to unlock any package, full package of our, of our 60 plus cash map packages uh, in cashmap.com. So, um, you know, go ahead and, uh, and email, email me. There you go. There's the dash, dashboard. Just go ahead and email Roger at sales at uh, cashmap.com. Let us know what package you like unlocked. And because you took the first action tonight, man, you get a pat full package, $77 value uh, unlocked for you. So anyway, so th that's the start node and the end node, all right? Now the next thing you want to know uh, and, and need to pay attention to, and I'm going to change to Donna's red here, is that these little icons right here and right here, these are called folder icons. These folder icons indicate that there is a lower level action cache map that details everything about this step. Okay, so what happens is, as you as you you know you're looking at the strategy cache map, and hopefully you downloaded it by now, or you will as soon as we you know uh, get off the call or tomorrow morning, whatever. Go get your free cache map account, and then um, every one of these red circles here and the folder icons indicate that there's a full action cache map. Now the action cache maps are not free. I'm just going to be straight up with you, right? Our strategy cache maps are free. They, they show you the 30,000 foot view of what you need to do to implement a particular strategy in business or in some cases personal, like personal uh, finances, personal productivity improvement, stuff like that. So you're looking at here and let's look at you know 1.1, study successful business plans, All right? Okay, great. If you feel that you can do that on your own, Great, you know you know what to do. Study success to go out and study successful business plans. Then you want to go into 1.2, documenting your you know your company's uh, history and goals. If, can can you do that? Go ahead and do it. That's great, you know. But if you would like the 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 next step down, right? The 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 next step down of detail that we show you how to study successful business plans or how to document companies' history and goals. That's where our action cash maps come in, okay? And all of our cash maps are proven, they're tested. Um, so, you know, I wish, I wish to the man upstairs that I had something like this when I was getting started in my entrepreneurial endeavors and online endeavors, you know, five to six years ago. They weren't, nothing like this existed. So I had to piece things together and buy different products. Nothing gave me the big picture. Everything just gave me these little bits and pieces. And, you know, so that's what that's the power and beauty of a cash map. Uh, one more little thing here to know, and then we're going to dive right into this. So stay tuned. Is this little icon here? This little icon indicates that there's information that pertains to a step. So in this thing, you know, understanding the importance of your business plan is you know resources, information that you want to pay attention to for the step that it is it is attached to, which is right here. Now. Final thing, uh, you start at the, uh, you know, the, the start node, you follow the flow lines. Right here you see these green flow lines. These are called flow lines. You're going to follow these flow lines. Anytime that you come to a decision here, you're going to make the decision and you're going to come out the right way. This, in this case, you're, you know, this would be a no and this would be a yes. There are no action cash maps, no action cash maps for a decision diamond right here no action cash maps for that okay there's only action cash maps where there are the folder icons here so now you may think that this screen um, is getting pretty cluttered I think it's beautiful and as Ron said I'm an awesome graphics designer that's why I don't do not have any graphics de graphics designers on staff um, not at all I do it all myself and um, and if you believe that then yeah there you go the lols are coming out so anyways let's clear all this rigmarole and um i'm not sure how i can clean it in one fell swoop but let me let me let me see if i can here maybe i can erase stuff man i can't do it all i'm gonna have to remember that next time 
I can't, I don't know how to clean the, everything off in one fell swoop. So, uh, anyways, here, here's the deal, uh, folks. I'm going to tell you before we even get into this. Um, you know, every night's a different offer. Uh, t tonight's offer uh, actually is going to be just like last week's offer. If you, if you, <laughs> yeah, Charlie Brown, yeah, that's great, Becky. Uh, if you purchase any full action cash maps, from uh, tonight before midnight Eastern tonight and then email us at sales at cashmap.com we will unlock two additional packages for you for free of your choosing so you, tonight you're basically you're gonna get three four one okay before midnight tonight you just make the purchase email us let us know that you uh, you want to take advantage of the three for one deal okay and uh, Roger since you got a free one for taking action you go buy that one you get four for one okay so all right all right Corbin here we go brother we're gonna jump in here now I talked about the business plan writing right the business plan writing here and I talked about some things of why uh, you know business plans are very very advantageous to do even if you're not looking for funding okay and that's this bottom portion right here for yourself I'll get I'll take I'll get rid of the uh, my awesome uh, box here but let me just point that out and say, look at the stuff that's for yourself. Number four, it forces you to learn about your market, your business, your competitors, you know, different advertising avenues or, or um, strategies, and, and any other aspects of your business. Uh, you know, that, that's number one. Number, number two, or in this case, number five, is, you know, is to organize and document your thinking, the thinking about your, vi your business vision, its strategies, its objectives, its mission, right customer data what is your avatar what does your customer avatar look like and we talked about that on you know some of the previous weeks and then number six down there you know is to use expert level tools you know competitive analysis tools target marketing cash flow statements it forces you you know to jump into some of these things and you know unfortunately especially as solopreneurs right or entrepreneurs what seems to happen is you know, we just dive right into it. We just dive into it and we go, we go from the forest, like, oh, this idea and this entrepreneurial spirit, and we just drive right into, right into, you know, getting stuff done and figuring out how to get stuff done. And we never step back. We never step back again to look at the forest through the trees, so to speak. And that, that, that again, I've mentioned this before, right? Underneath uh, the busyness, that's called Zoom thinking. And that's uh, when, when, uh, my new book comes out here you'll see you'll see a section in there about zoom thinking which is your ability to think on two planes to zoom in and out right from big picture 30,000 foot view to you know the lower detailed tactical level and also zoom right to left you can't see it well because the camera's so jumpy but the zoom right to left from right brain left brain from uh, creative emotion to you know the logic process um, but but that's you know, that's the great thing about a business plan is it really fo uh, forces you to dive into, uh, you know, some of that stuff, right? So on the business plan here, you know, it's getting started here in the, the upper left, and I left a little uh, little guy on here, is, uh, you know, right here, the start note. Now, first thing you want to do is study successful business plans. Get your hands on other business plans for, uh, you know, to, to review. Do a Google search, right? Um, if you've ever been involved with the business before, you know, at, or biz, other business owners before, ask them if, if they have an old, uh, you know, example of a, of a business plan that you could take a look at. Go to DocStock. That was one of the uh, Productivity Sucks episodes, uh, I think last week. I think on last week's Business TV episode. It might be, might be next week. I don't know when it, when it came out, but um, it was... Uh, uh, it's, you know, called DocStock, D-O-C-S-T-O-C.com. Go there, type, you know, business plan in there and search for one. In, you know, get yourself, uh, get yourself some, some examples. Um, but you want to study successful business plans so that you can see what the, you know, different components are. Um, let me give you an example of, of this real quick. You know, in the book writing process, right? I'm not, I'm not self-publishing. I'm going after big publisher, Okay. I'm working with a, a coach right now who is helping me, you know, on that side of, with the proposal, the query letter, all that sort of thing for to get agent representation, right? The best thing, the, the best thing that was worth the money in itself 
of working with that coach was the examples, the successful examples of book proposals and query letters that that coach was able to, uh, you know, provide to me so that it wasn't just starting from a template. It was actually starting with successful uh, te uh, proposal templates and query templates that you know, other people uh, have used and in, in gotten book publishing off of it. So anyways, that's that. Moving on to 1.2, document your company's history and goals, um, especially from a financing perspective. You know, invest, investors really want to see a record of your, you know, your entrepreneurial success. Is just is this just some uh, flea bagged idea that popped up? And even though it might be a good one, you have no experience of bringing it home. Or you know, maybe you do. Maybe you've already started two multi million dollar companies. Whatever the case may be, folks want to know, you know, what that is. Um, also on the goals side here, you know, of what the mission is. What the goals of the company are, um, you know, where where are you planning on taking uh, this company? And remember, tonight tonight we're not going to dive into all the nitty gritty details. You know, there's a lot of details on the action cash maps. We're going to try to leave some time here for you to ask some questions. But um, I just wanted to, uh, to point that out. I know I'm going to go I'm going to go fast through here, and uh, you know, just want to apologize for that ahead of time. Um, One point three. Next step: describe products. Or services provided. This is an awesome thing. You know, if you've ever, um, if if you had a, a patent, right, or if you have a, a registered trademark on anything, one of the one of the most difficult things to do, it, you know, especially it's it's not difficult when you're working with a, a lawyer, but if you're trying to do it yourself, uh, trust me, I've, you know, I've tried this, and then I just said, oh, I'm just going to hire a legal representation to do this, is to figure out, you know, what's the description of their products or services? And it, this is an, uh, something here that really focuses you, forces you to think about, what am I really providing here? You know, what is the product or service? What is its value um, to uh, the consumer market, to your target market? Yeah, I hear you, Corbin. I know, I know. Uh, 1.4, document, you know, the market analysis. Uh, this is something that is also, you know, so often overlooked here. And that is that, you know, many of us, right, many of us, I say us as entrepreneurs, again, just have a, a, an idea for a product or service, whatever it is, and we jump into it. We have no idea what the market is. We have no idea what the competitive space looks like. We have no idea what the market is that would, act, uh, for people, uh, the the TAM the total available market uh, you know that would actually potentially buy um, you know the product or service uh, that you're that you're jumping into right so um, you know that's that's 1.4 to document and really build that that market analysis piece 1.5 is to get into your marketing strategies now you know just like a business whether it's it, or a book launch and I'm just talking about that because it's very apropos to you know my situation right now. I mean, one of the biggest things that, that publishers want uh, nowadays, they want to know what your marketing platform is, what your strategies are. It's not just writing a book. Writing a book is about 10% of the overall thing to, you know, to, get, to position yourself for publishing. Same thing for your business. Exact same thing for your, uh, you know, for your business. Hey, Becky, thank you for sharing. That's great. Uh, I'm not familiar with that book, uh, Four Steps to the Epiphany, but it sounds awesome. I'm going to... I'm going to write that, jot that down. Uh, you know, but your marketing strategies are, you know, how are you going to market this? How are you going to market it to the, your target market that, you know, you've already identified? You, that target, by identifying a target market in the step before, you know, every target market's a little bit different. Where do they hang out? What do they like? What do they dislike? How do you engage with them? Where do you find them? You know, in all those types of qu basic questions is something that, you know, has to be addressed to uh, you know in your marketing plans now 1.6 moving on um, now we get into you know the uh, here, here comes the lawyer side of it again you know your business structure and you know what regulations govern what you're trying to do here what are some of the challenges uh, for instance uh, you know if you were trying to start a gold buying company right and I've got some experience here um, in my in my past life but if you're trying to start a gold buying company Number one, uh, it's a little bit late in the game to start doing that. Uh, just a side note there. Uh, but lots of legal stuff here, right? On, on buying gold and, and securities and, um, you know, in from not only at the federal level, but state to state. 
uh, lots of stuff you know going on here. And so depending on what your business is, you know you you really need to dive in here and understand what the what the boundaries are and the challenges and the, you know what you need to know from a from a compliance uh, perspective, right? 1.7 now moving over here into you know financial oh trying to get my arrow back here into the financial side provide financial documentation projections um, you know let's say you're gonna you're gonna build a, a, a membership based website right and you're trying to get funding for that and even if you're, again if you're not trying to get funding for it how big is this realistically you know what are your price points your and that all goes back to what your what your overall corporate strategy is your marketing strategy is you know are you a lowest price competitor and if so you know if you know your competitive market then you can you know exactly where you need to be to get there if not you know how are you going to price things out what's the target uh, market you know the size again the to the TAM the total available market and you know and to do those type of um, uh, you know financial projections not only in a in a static view but you know in that cash flow uh, you know perspective month after month uh, you know for for that you know year one year one through uh, year five right so that's the, the financial uh, projections piece and again much much more much more detail on the uh, the action cash maps uh, for this uh, I'm gonna scroll this down here and move down into you know into the last step here finalizing a business plan and we asked this question do you want to hire a consultant right do you want to hire a consultant that is an expert in writing a an appropriation request or writing a funding request um, and then also helping you you know to to finalize your document with that with that executive uh, summary you know and, um, and and if not you know then you move into your move into your own stuff here to compile you know the appendix the the proof and, and publish um, you know but <clears throat> this stuff here is 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 things that you want to think about. You know whether you want to hire somebody out outside now usually if you're a small uh, business again a solopreneur you're not going to want to do that you know you're going to want to go ahead and get this business plan done to the best of your ability and I hope you can see from a you know from a mindset perspective um, you know this just forces you into so many different areas of your business that maybe you hadn't thought about um, the other great thing here is uh, you know this is a living document right this isn't something that you build once and then you never touch again this is as your business changes over time you go back and you you know you can update this and you can um, uh, you know just keep it a living document keep it a living document because who knows when you're going to need that funding again and so you know we start off over here looking at a business plan and the benefits for yourself let's take a look at one two three here this is kind of the benefits to others right it's for investors and banks, other financiers, uh, uh, you know, to get the startup money that you need to understand what your business is all about, to understand, you know, that your concept, to understand what your market is, to understand what the competitive space is, to understand what your legal um, complications or challenges, you know, may be, to look at your financial projections so that they know, right, and they can project that. Uh, the money that they're going to in, uh, put into your business, if they do, they they know what they want to know what the ROI is, and they want to know that you know this your your plan holds water. Um, it's also good number two here to you know to help your colleagues, partners, employees, business partners, everyone to understand what your business is. And this is one of those things, especially as you start to grow a team, whether it's with 1099 contractors or W2 employees. You know, you've got to understand and communicate your shared mission to them, right? Communicate your mission to them and share it with them because it's then and only then that those folks can be extensions of, you know, getting you to your mission. And if it's just you who understands the mission and everyone else just doing busy work, you're losing, you're leaving a lot on the table, a lot of efficiencies, you know, on the table. And then, you know, number three, to organize financial figures, you know, lines of authority, licenses, uh, you know, from a, an accountant perspective, regulator's perspective, you know, uh, great stuff here. If you work with a lawyer, work with, you know, accountants as you as you grow and your business starts to generate revenue, you know, you're going to have to be have that trifecta partnership with your accountant and your lawyer so that you can figure out, um, you know, exactly what's the best way to structure my legal entity. And maybe you start off as a simple LLC or 
LLC partnership, and then you need to change it. Maybe when's the right time to change to an S corp, and you know those types of those types of things. Uh, from the accountant perspective, to you know write offs and and all that, and how and how the monies are flowing through your company, how your company is being accounted for. Um, you know this business plan helps with you know with all of that. So um, the uh, yeah, Corbin, you're 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 exactly <laughs> you're exactly right, and you can tell I kind of dan danced around that, and I and I want to. Um, I want to, uh, <laughs> you're right on, Corbin. So let me just do this disclaimer, right? Um, anything that I said about legal, about regulatory, uh, about accounting side of things, right? Um, I don't, I know nothing. I know nothing. Go consult with your lawyer, okay? Go get legal representation. Um, do not, do not base anything that I say from a legal uh, perspective as as you know guidance uh, to you um, so I just want to make sure that 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 is stipulated and Corbin thank you very much for reminding me um, of that because I got carried away here so all right so here's the deal folks let me just remind you again the deal for tonight the deal for tonight is uh, as I zoom back out here on this uh, business plan writing cash map is uh, zoom a little bit in here again and I wanted to tell you this and that is that our packages normally sell for $197 most of them you can find right now in our in our um, store for $77 right and I'm gonna blow this up a little bit and uh, give you some nice highlights now let's go with a uh, let's go with a green font here uh, no let's go with an orange font there's an orange font and uh, so most of them are, are you know, $77. Tonight, what we're going to do is if you buy any, you know, you, you, you're looking at, uh, you know, you want the action cash maps here for business plan writing, pick those up. Email us at sales at cashmap.com. And, um, and then what, uh, what we'll do for you tonight, you buy any of our packages, you just email us, and you're going to get two more packages that are valued at, you know, a minimum of $77. So you're going to get all three of these for, uh, one you know for one price so that's what my quick math here is um, oh, 238 uh, 231 dollars 231 dollars of, of value for one so three for one offer um, tonight right three three for one cash map offer tonight okay so that's that's that and I'm gonna leave that uh, with you and now open up the floor for uh, for questions and let's see so Becky have you ever had people offer done for you service um, <clears throat> yeah you know what um, no no we really haven't Becky and that's something that uh, I know if you have some ideas there if it's something you're interested in or have some people that you know that might be definitely put you know send them send them my way and just so just so uh, we'll get this out of the way right now uh, Brad stuff at busyness dot com that's a that's an email address that you know you can get to me for something like that you can also always get to us through um, uh, sales at cashmap.com as well as through you know support uh, cashmap uh, cashmap.com forward slash support you can submit a support ticket as well so uh, let me just go ahead and pull back up the uh, the other doc the other uh, or business artwork here as we go to questions I want to go ahead I want to jump into technology here really quick and open the floor for some more for some more questions. But let's go ahead and, and open up this poll here. And uh, I want to, uh, you know what? A couple of things. I'm going to jump all over the place here. Let's do this first. Texting and driving. Texting and driving. And this is going to lead into the technology piece here. Um, let's see what well, let's see what you guys uh, what you what you guys say here. Come on. Folks, vote, 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 come on, do all of you guys really not text and drive, I mean, that is awesome, that is awesome, and um, I need to make that full commitment, I'm to the point now where, um, I'm to the point now where I, I really, you normally do not text and drive if I have family in the car, but if it's by myself, I still will at times. But um, yeah, I know. 
Yeah, that, Dave, that's what I say. It's <laughs> if you don't text and drive, you're lying. No, no, no. I've, but anyways, let's uh, let's just I'll, I'll pop these up here real quick. So, um, you know, 50% say I, I do not text and drive. 37% say yes to that. So, um, you know, interesting, interesting. But uh, so here's let me let me let me hide that. Get rid of or go ahead and close that poll. Okay. Um, so technology wise, let's talk about that. When we when we did the we talked to you almost you know over ninety percent of you said that uh, technology was the of the five causes of business was the one that um, you know put you put you in a position of business or caused you know it caused you business. Now what is the number one thing? Number one piece of technology? If you want to type that in, yeah, email, great. So Becky on that. A couple years back, right? I was like, man, I'm spending a lot of time in my email. I did a, a what I call a return on action study, taking a look at my actions. I was spending almost two and a half hours in email uh, per day. So I, I totally get that. Totally get that. Um, and, you know, just from a pure time suck, I think email's there. Anybody else? I see Donna typing, Corbin typing, um, email. Okay, great. Did you guys know we have an email? Uh, cash map, email management cash map package. Did you guys know that? It's actually not even on the market right now. Yeah, yeah, we, we I built that years ago, and I need to uh, I need to resurrect that, pull that out, and, and just refresh that up because it was very, very, um, very, very. Yeah, Corbin, I hear you, man. I hear you. Okay, so yeah, it does you it does use uh, outtasking, Becky. It does. Yep. Um, but with some of the the uh, ch changes now in Google, uh, if you're using Gmail too, that was part of the process was centralizing your email through Gmail, and Gmail's gotten even better. So it would um, it would be something that is absolutely um, absolutely uh, you know it would would help folks from an email side and stuff. So um, Corbin. I absolutely agree with you, man. It's one of those things that is texting and driving really is a serious epidemic in this country. And no, no, no joking. You know, uh, they're all joking aside. I should say it is. It's very, very serious. Um, so yeah, Becky, that's right. So, so you know what though? And this might seem obvious. You know what mine is? I say, is it the number one technology piece? Is this darn cell phone? Right? It's this darn cell phone. Um, it just absolutely is. It, it, you know, think about think about the years ago when there wasn't cell phones and you weren't connected um, everywhere, right? I'm not saying technology is bad. I'm not saying that the cell phone is a, is 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 bad is a bad thing. There's lots of ways that it you know it it helps. Lots of ways it helps. But from a busyness perspective, right? <laughs> from a busyness perspective, it is. I think the number one technology contributor and that's because you cannot disconnect from it it's very difficult to to disconnect unless you make a conscious uh, decision you know to, to go there so um, I don't know I'm, I'm not, you know I'm not sure how you feel about that but that for me that's really what uh, you know what I feel is uh, yeah Becky that's great you know returning calls that, that's absolutely awesome um, way to you know to handle that um, all right, so let's look at any other questions that we have. I'm going to go ahead and open up a uh, a Q and A now, Be I, Becky. I don't think I, I don't think I answered um, your question initially. Good night, Corbin. Have a good night, buddy. Um, okay, so here's one question I have, and that is. Traditional business structure may be living on borrowed time. Do I feel that the traditional business structure may be living on borrowed time? Uh, the internet has transformed business as the industrial revolution has, uh, as the industrial revolution once changed the world. Yeah, I do. I do actually uh, feel that you know that um, businesses are, are are changing. Absolutely. Um, you know, there there's just no doubt about it. And, and there's going to be another shift. You know, there, there's going to be a. I, I feel that there's going to be another shift too, and I think folks, uh, you know, books like The Mesh. I'm not so sure if I. Oh yeah, I've got it right here. You know, books like uh, Lisa Gansky's. Uh, you know, The Mesh here is a is a great book um, on that. You know, look, really looking at shared services um, and you know leveraging things. If you combine that, 
you know, and really looking at like, for instance, the cloud and stuff like that. I, I really think Lisa's onto something there. If you ever read the Mesh, that's an that's an awesome book. Um, so I don't know if you want to discuss that one some more. We can. Corbin, Corbin says, hey, "How can I silence the noise in my life?" Well, you know what, Corbin? Um, very soon. Very soon, you want to keep checking back because at uh, business.com, I'm going to be releasing something. Give a sneak peek here on Business Live called the Business Survival Kit. And we're going to be releasing in there some of the tools that I use to do exactly that to silence the noise in your life. And, you know, one of the things is before you can silence noise, right, in your life, you must understand where it's coming from, right? You absolutely must understand where it's coming from. And that's what, what some of the tools, the busyness tools, uh, that I'll be putting out here very shortly <coughs> seek to seek to achieve they work for me and I know that they'll work for all of you and uh, you know the wide population so um, great great question um, there it's not a, unfortunately it's not a simple answer to say hey you know do this do that and you're done um, but it can it, it can be done and and there's there's always going to be noise the question is what's the magnitude of that noise what's the timing of that noise right and in where does that noise actually interject? Um, you know, where and when does that noise actually interject? So a um, couple things to think about there. The Q&A window should be open. You should see that, folks. Now, I know we've, uh, we've exhausted kind of, you know, it's 1030. I don't want to keep you uh, up too late, but I, we did start about uh, four minutes, four or five minutes late. So in interest of, you know, keeping the full hour, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll stay here. Uh, and would be glad to answer any more questions you know that that you have. Let me try to scroll back while if you have any more questions. Again, anything about business, marketing, busyness, um, you know whatever just challenge you've had, whether it's be if I can't answer, we'll you know we'll see if somebody here can. If not, well you know I'll get you an answer for it. But um, just kind of scrolling back up here to see. Just a reminder about the book uh, that. Becky recommended Stephen Blank's book, Four Steps to the Epiphany. Something to keep in mind. Um, scrolling back, scrolling back, scrolling back. Okay. Right, what else? What else did I miss? Anything else, folks? Just remember. Um, oh, there you go. I was looking for that. Uh, Becky, thanks. Oh, okay, about the niche business plan. You know, honestly, okay, here, here's the deal. Um, you know, a, a business plan is going to be tailored and, in, in, you know, doctored to the, no pun intended, doctored to the, the, the business itself, all right? So here's the question. When is it, vi when is it viable? Here's, here's the question, folks. A niche business plan, right? So if you're, you're maybe focusing in a particular niche, you know, when does a business plan make sense and when does it, you know, when does it not? And here's the deal. If your niche, that if, you've, if you're building a business solely on a particular niche, right, then you want a business plan uh, for that. The business plans occur at the business level, right, not at the niche level. So um, I'm trying to think of an example off the top of my head. But if you're, let's, let's just say that... Um, Let's say that you're, you know, an internet marketer and you're focusing on, on various niches. Let's say you're doing something on cookie cutters, and then let's say you're doing something else on, uh, you know, uh, uh, selling thimbles. Well, you know, really, if that's one business, those are just two product lines, two niches that you're focusing on in your business. I wouldn't write a business plan for the thimble, you know, portion of that business, and then for the cookie cutters portion of that business, right? But if I, if those are completely separate businesses. And you know, completely separate and, and functioning separately with different accounting books and all that sort of thing. Okay, now you now you need to look at the business plan, uh, you know, for each for each one of those. But so your business plan can adjust. But for me, the big distinction is the viability comes when what's the business level, right? At what level is your business operating from a legal perspective, from a um, financial perspective, and, and, and the like. And that's the level where I'd say the business plan is 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 viable. So hopefully that. Um, Hopefully that answers your, your question. Uh, oh, and another jokester coming in here. Another jokester here asking uh, asking me if, uh, you know, I'm going to uh, keep my shirt on today. And uh, that's just a smart aleck. Thank you for that. But it gives me an opportunity to remind you that, um, to remind you to check out 
busyness.com and the business TV show the every Thursday because last week's episode I, I, I made a major announcement I actually made a, a a public declaration that blew my blew my shirt off so um, thanks for that smarty pants uh, let's see what Becky's here um, so this is continuing on with that the niche uh, question here Assuming an LLC has been formed for a service business uh, specializing in exit strategies for selling. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so assume an LLC has been formed for a service business specializing in exit strategies for selling. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. If you've formed an LLC, um, you know, in that business is is sell it's a, a sale of services, right? In your in your in that in that area of specialization, absolutely. That's a great, absolute perfect level. Um, you know, to to focus the business plan on because you know you need to know um, you know what your mission is with that business, where the where the the target market is, who's your who's your avatar, who's your customers, what's the competition, who else is is you know doing exit strategies, uh, specializing in exit you know helping businesses with exit strategies. So again, kind of the defining piece there is that yeah, you form an LLC around that. You know that means that 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 business itself is going to have its own accounting structure. Uh, that you need to take an account for. So that's a great example, and absolutely, that that's the that's the level. So yes, um, that yes, absolutely yes, need a plan, need a plan for that. Um, let's see. Um, you know, I, Becky, in in my explanation, the next question is, you know, do we need do do they need a strategic plan as well? You know, there's different. The opinions on that, right? Um, if you write the business plan right, right, it depends on depends on what your definition of a strategic plan, right? In my in my definition, the way I, I handle it is, I don't want all these different documents floating around, right? I want to I want to put my <clears throat> um, corporate level or business level strategies into that particular business plan, right? Um, that that's that's one of the major points. I mean you. If you're, for instance, part of your strategic plan is how you're going to market your business. Well, that needs to go in your in your business plan. Part of your strategic plan is where you're going to, uh, how you're going to differentiate yourself from your your competition. Are you a, um, you know, high value, uh, high cost, uh, high value, low cost, um, high service, low cost? I mean, what you know, there there's all of those types of decisions that you are knocking off in your business plan are really defining your overall. Uh, business strategy. So, you know, for me, they're they're really uh, one in the same um, for the most part. I don't, you know, I, I'm not sure. You may think of you may in your mind be thinking of a strategic plan as being something you know a little bit a little bit different. Um, but in my mind, they're 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 not really. But back to your question on that LC, absolutely, I would recommend you having a um, having a, uh, a you know a business plan. So. Um, Follow-up question of that is so a rolling 18-month plan serves both needs. Um, yeah, you know, depending on right, whatever you decide for the length of uh, term that you put in there for your for your plan. But you know, you have a business plan, but then you then completely separate from that. If you're working with an accountant and you want to definitely you know get work with an accountant, get an accountant's advice here and stuff. But uh, you know, whatever your financial projections or forecasts are for sales and and you know your overall cash flow planning. Um, you know whether that's 12 months, 18 months. You know usually, you know that cash flow planning is is uh, you know that shorter period. You're you're long, but you still have maybe even up to five year projections out there for you know for uh, you know some of your higher level financial uh, things. So, yep, you're absolutely welcome on that. All right, so uh, so 10:38. Roger is the uh, first action taker. Uh, make sure you email us, buddy, for what. A cash map package you'd like to have unlocked. Um, if there's any last minute questions, go ahead and type them in as I'm wrapping up here, and I'll grab them. But I'd like to, you know, thank all of you for uh, for being here tonight. I'm sorry, I apologize for the uh, jumpy camera connection. Hopefully next week we'll get that uh, get that resolved. And uh, next week we're going to be back with Voice of the Customer Cash Map, along with some other cool discussions uh, about. Uh, you know about busyness. So make sure that a couple of things. If you do for me, you know number one, 
visit busyness.com. Make sure you're registered to receive show updates either on the site via email or via iTunes. Uh, while you're on that page, click the like button. Definitely click the like button, the Facebook like button there, as we're trying to build up that the, the Busyness TV uh, page. And uh, be reminded too, the whole, the entire entrepreneur uh, cash map, entrepreneur cash map package, it's a 490, it sells for $497 right now. You can, you have a chance to win that for free, to be awarded that for free. Um, if, if you ask a question at business.com under the Ask Dr. Brad uh, piece, just look for the Ask Dr. Brad icon, ask whatever question you'd like, and if I select your question and answer it on the Business TV show, you will be, receive the Entrepreneur Cash Map Package of $497 uh, value. So help me there if you would. I, I very much appreciate it. And come back next week uh, and bring a friend if you would. If you would help help. Uh, me grow this business live event if you think it's valuable right if you think it's valuable definitely uh, bring a friend with you and if there's something that you would like to improve right you, you think that I, we could improve by this um, you know, go ahead and just email me directly uh, I'll put, put it in here again Brad Semp at busyness.com you know we're trying to again make this as interactive as fun as, as value-packed as possible and I'm always open to, uh, to adjusting this and making this better so uh, but with that, thank you very much for uh, you know taking a time, uh, taking the uh, uh, an hour out of your out of your evening, and uh, I look forward to seeing you right here next Wednesday, 9:30 p.m. Eastern. Have a wonderful night, everyone. Take care. Bye bye.